Hi Strangelings and welcome back to my fifth official day of Halloween. I'm super excited to come at you guys with an actual haul because I started this month off kind of on a sad note with an anti-haul um, with my one little flask. Um, you saw yesterday my Michael's tour. Me and Chad stopped over there just to see. I know that all the Halloween stuff is going on sale which stinks because like we're barely in October. But on the plus side you can get some really good deals like 50% off everything that was there Halloween wise. So I went ahead and picked up a couple things. Um, I had some things that we had bought a couple days ago, so um, this is a mixed haul for all for Michaels, and I wanted to show you guys the stuff that we got. But before we got started, because it is October fifth or Halloween fifth, I wanted to say a big shout out to my cousin Rachel. Happy birthday! Happy twenty first! Don't go too crazy, and also happy anniversary to my mom, my mom and dad. <laughs> twenty six years today. Um, I know that they went out and celebrated. I think at Red Lobster. Um, Wolf has decided to join the video. Sorry for cat butt. Um, he likes to be involved in everything, but... Hey, baby. Hey, what you doing? Silly goose. <laughs> We're gonna work around him. Um, I'll start with some of the small stuff, then get to some of the bigger items and try to make this nice and quick for you. First off, just some couple crafting pieces. I got some of these little roses. I do some adjustable rings and roses are one of the things I like to put on them. They're very simple to make, but I like that these had like a muted red. I've never really made something more muted. It was usually like a bright color. And I really like those. And they were like $2. They really weren't that expensive. We have a show coming up in October. Not October. <laughs> December. I would like to make a couple more rose rings for. Um, I got... I have two of these now. I might actually use this one as a coin purse. Because my other one is currently holding my dice for when we play D&D. Um, &D, Dungeons and Dragons on one of the days. Um for my wood elf paladin character, level four. Um, I used it when I was a tiefling. I miss being a tiefling, um, tiefling wizard. But I really like his face. He's super happy and cute. It's a good size. I like the material of it. It's super soft and squishy. Um, he was like 250, not too bad. Um, this next piece I got for a photo shoot. And if you don't like buggies, I would look away because it's a spider. It's actually specifically a Black Widow, which the paint job is super fantastic, Michael's way to go. <laughs> but I really wanted to redo one of my shoots. Wolf is freaking out because he kills all the spiders in our house. Um, <laughs> but I had a photo shoot that I needed to redo, and I'm glad that I got this for it because I really wanted to use it the first time around and I couldn't. So I'm going to have this little guy for an upcoming shoot. Not really decorative. I don't really like decorative buggies, like the cockroaches and stuff. Oh, they're so gross. Um, next up... I have this candle holder. It's a little cauldron. It has these spider webbing details on it. And then the feet kind of look like, to me, I know it's, I, words. I think it kind of looks like a broom. I don't know why that's what it reminds me of, but it does. And it's this really pretty green color and just kind of hangs its two pieces. So it comes off right there. Put a little tea light in it or something. It's probably going to go in the kitchen for Halloween. It's really cute. It was $6 on sale, so... We ended up picking it up. We you can never have enough candle holders, really. Especially when you have... His nickname is Gollum. Um, I currently have a pile of laundry over there, which is why the camera's facing this way. Um, and he is now Laundry Gollum, because when we have a pile of clothes, he lives inside of it, and when you try to fold them around him, he swats at you. So Gollum has now retired to his pile of clothes. Which you might be able to see in the background, and I'm sorry. They will be clean, Mom, I promise. Moving right along, we have this really cute, like, black raven wing bowl. Um, you can think of it as, like, crow or raven feathers or, like, fallen angel feathers. I really like the detailing inside. I like what they did with it. I think it's really pretty. I don't so much like it on the side because I think it's too much. They should have done, like, a lighter stroke with it. So I might paint over it because I don't super like the detailing. And it's flat here on the bottom. Like I said, it was, like, $6. It's really cute. They still had a couple of them left, so... We've been using this one to throw our keys in on the kitchen table when we walk in the front door. And then this piece, it wasn't necessarily a Halloween piece. It was in their like fall miniature section. It's a little like pumpkin fairy house. I would love to have a fairy garden outside of this apartment. You have no idea, but I'm so afraid of like someone stealing it or like, you know, the dog like running away with one of the pieces that, you know, lives around here or they've already, 
Let me tell you something. <laughs> when you live in an apartment where you pay people to come and like do the lawn work for you and you have those little spooky gates from the dollar store, they just weed whack the crap out of them. <laughs> they have broken so many times and we've taped them back together every single time. You would think they would learn to stop weed whacking our fence. <laughs> so that's like the only Halloween decoration we'll be able to put up. We wanted to do a whole fence in front of our apartment because we have a big section now in the corner, but they keep weed whacking it and breaking it. <laughs> So I don't want this to get weed whacked because it's so cute. Look at the cute little door and the steps. You can see inside of it so it's hollow, but I don't think there's a way to open it. Or at least I haven't found one yet. Um, Cause it'd be really cute, really cool with a little light inside of it or something. Um, Cause you can see straight through. Oh, you're looking at me like I'm crazy. But this was really cute, I had to get it. Right now again, it's sitting with the Raven Bowl on our kitchen counter. Big piece, Frankenstein. I wanted one of these plaster heads like two years ago. They had a really cool sugar skull I was gonna get in paint and then I didn't do it. So this year I got Frankenstein, he was $6. I have a lot of work to do on him. Lots of painting to get him looking super spooky. Um, they only had two of them left and he was the only one that had both bolts. The other one is missing one up here. Um, I might add something to it to look more realistic than just like a little nub like it is right now. But he is also being used for a photo shoot, believe it or not, him and Tispiter. Not together, they're two separate ones. But I wasn't going to get him, but he just, like, seeing him, he fits so well with what I wanted to do that I'm going to paint him up. I'm going to put him in the display background setting, and trust me, when that shoot comes out, you will know. <laughs> you will. Um, and last but not least, a pink tutu. Why a pink tutu, you ask? Because again, photo shoot. Um, this one was $5. It's actually one of their like breast cancer awareness items. So it has little ribbons on it, but I'm going to take those off. Their normal tutus were like $20 for Halloween. And I was like, mm, that's a little bit much because their accessories were only buy one, get one 50% off. It wasn't 50% off where this one was on sale. So I went ahead and I bought this and I'm going to do some work to it and I'm going to use it this weekend. Shameless plug, if you want to see some really cool behind the scenes, including this tutu, some other tutus, and who knows what else, check out my Patreon link. It is going to be down below. If you pledge even just $1 this month, you will see some awesome behind the scenes this coming weekend. As long as everybody is cool with it, I might take a live video, take some photos of me, the other girl, the photographer, some of the makeup behind the scenes. Um, you might get one of the epic road trip that we're gonna be taking on Saturday with my good friend Constance. Her channel will be below for you to check out. I'm pointing at nothing, just so you know. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that's everything that we got for Michaels. We got the little roses that were part of the Jim Holtz collection. So they were Halloween and they were on sale. The spider, cauldron, um, the little cute coin purse, Frankie, bull, um, in the fairy house. It's a pretty good haul. It's not too expensive. Um, they have a lot of really good stuff left. The one that I really wanted to get, it was a book that was open with like the skeleton hands holding it on the spell. And it was, I think, on sale like $12, but I really couldn't justify to myself spending that $12 on a piece that's just gonna literally be a display piece when we barely have enough room for the stuff that we already have. So I didn't get it. Uh, but I really, really wanted to. They had a, like a smaller one and that one was sold out, so that sucked. Um, so, eh, continuing with my nerdiness. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye!